What is up ladies and gentlemen? Today we are in the fingerboard park land behind me. As you can see it is literally a construction zone but I figured it'd make a pretty cool backdrop. Over time it's going to become more and more cool because it'll just be more and more done. For all of you guys that don't know, me and Clayton are going on a pretty extensive trip. We're going to Barcelona, we're going to Israel, we're going to Italy, we're going to Bosnia, we're going to Croatia, we're going to Turkey, we're going to the UK for the Corby camps. If you guys want to sign up for the Corby camps, link is in the description. It's going to be super cool, super hands-on camp, really teaching you guys how to do social media correctly and also how to customize your scooter. And basically, it's a day in the life of... So everything you guys see in the videos, it's going to be like in-person version of that. So if, you got, if that sounds interesting to you, sign up for the Corby camps. They're going to be a great deal and they're really awesome. <laughs> I mean, actually, no, it is pretty cool. I think it's really cool how, like, the pink and uh, blue play painting. If you guys watched the previous video, you guys will know what I'm talking about. Actually, it's kind of cool when it got kind of wiped away and the yellow bled through. I think the yellow with the pink and the, and the blue actually works really well together. But I'm gonna be completely honest, I do think it looks kind of ugly. So it is time to change the color. By the thumbnail of this video, I'm sure you guys have a pretty good guess on what I've done. Right now I'm gonna take apart my scooter, so let's do it. For all of you guys that are wondering, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little scooter check while I'm taking this apart. If you guys wanna hear what's on my scooter, I'll tell you. All right, so as promised, let's start at the top. I got white ODI bar ends that are literally about to break. And they got hang five gear grips that are also kind of getting worn away, but they've done me really good. They've lasted quite a long time. Next, I have titanium T-bars. They're really nice and light. They do the job. I've had them for like almost a year now. If you guys are gonna run titanium bars over like 26 tall, always make sure that they're oversized. Most titanium bars are oversized, so it's not really an issue anymore. But if you're gonna get titanium bars, make sure that they're oversized. Ugh. Next part I have is the Tilt Rigid SCS. This clamp is really, really sick. It's a little bit bigger than conventional SCSs, but the reason is, is it takes up the gap where your headset cap is, like it literally is a headset cap, and it takes a little space where you need a spacer, and then it's just a smaller SCS. But the cool thing is, is that the bolts go all the way down as if it was the size of like a full-size SCS. So you get the tightening of like a full-size Proto, but you have the weight of like a mini SCS. So it's the best of both worlds. I highly recommend this SCS. No problems. You get extra grip on your bars, extra coverage on your bars so they won't snap as easy. Just all around a great product. The next part I have is the Tilt Rigid 30 millimeter wide fork. This fork is so bomb. I love it. It is honestly my favorite look wide screw fork. The Ethic one is pretty sick and the Native one is pretty sick, but I think this one takes the cake as the coolest looking one. The next part I have is my signature Meta wheels. Um, if you guys stick around later in the video, I'll show you what they look like new because I'm about to throw a new pair onto here. But they are clear girthing with a nice blue core. I am so unbelievably hyped on these wheels. They are perfect, they're amazing, I love them. Can't wait for them to be out so you guys can buy them because they're perfect. Like, look at them. They're just amazing. The next part I have is a tilt headset. I really don't want to take it out right now because it's greasy. I want to get paper towels first. But it's a tilt headset. Just trust me on that. All right, back of the deck time. And my back wheel just came out. Same thing. Same exact type of wheel. Actually has a little flat spot in it right now. If you guys go onto my Instagram, go to White Trash Willy, go watch the lit side of the Scoot IGTV video. Um, I do these like really gnarly power cards in the beginning and I give my, my wheel a nice flat spot. So kind of sucks that I got a flat spot, but I was kind of asking for it. I mean, I was doing power slides over and over and over down a really steep hill going fast. So I can't really complain. That's what happens. <laughs> Lastly, we got this beautiful piece of metal. It's the most beautiful piece of metal I've ever I've ever used. This right here is the Tilt Theory deck in 23 long. It is perfect. It is amazing. It is the best deck I've ever ridden. If you guys are looking for a really, really solid deck that will be great for any type of riding, get the Tilt deck because it is fire. It's fire. I love it. Um, but right now, I'm gonna take off the grip tape. All right, 
The deck is officially ungrip taped, so I just sanded the deck right now. It's still yellow, but it's like the top layer of paint is off of it, so the paint will stick really nicely now. I also scraped all the paint, all the color shifting paint off of the fork and clamp, because I'm gonna paint these as well. So, I'm gonna go paint these. Let's do it. All right guys, it's the next day, and it's time to paint. Yes. Alright boys, so now it is time to set up my scooter. I got my deck right here. It's looking oh so beautiful. And then I also got uh, my signature metal wheels that are going to be thrown on here. So it's going to look dank and then I got my my white fork it's kind of messed up on like the fork too but it doesn't matter because there's no hole cut out or anything and the next thing I have is the white tilt rigid SCS that I'm going to be putting on and yeah let's get to it the first thing I got to do is put on some grip tape so I'll put it on real quick so I have the grip tape on and just a little bit uh, sketched out so now I'm going to cut it out Bam! There she is. Looks pretty dang good. The next piece to this assembly is the headset. She was just hiding in the other room. Well, bang. All right, the next step is the front axle. Right now, I am putting in my signature meta scooter wheels that will be out pretty soon so if you guys want some of these keep on the lookout because they're about to drop they're clear urethane with a blue core and they are beautiful Whew. all right now the back the nice thing about tilt decks is that the back bolt literally just screws into the back of the deck. It's like there's a little dropout for it. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at this so far. This is beautiful. All right, so I'm just putting on some new grips right now. These are Hank 5 gear grips. I got some used white ODI bar ends. I wish I had some new ones, but unfortunately I don't. So these are gonna have to do. Here's my bars. New grips, they feel awesome. I'll put this in. Wow. Wow. This looks immaculate. Holy crap. So if you saw me earlier in the video, I started spray painting my clamp and I accidentally got the bolts a little bit white. So to combat that, I have now painted them pink so they match the deck. I've never painted bolts before. I just literally painted the tops. So I'm going to put these in and see how it looks. All right, folks. Here it is. It looks like the scooter of my dreams. Honestly, I, I'm, I love it. I absolutely love it. I love how the blue of the stickers right here matches the wheels. I love how the bolts match the deck. I love how the black grip matches black grips. <laughs> the grips match the grips. The urethane matches air. The white matches the deck. Everything just goes together really nicely. And I have my little Egyptian cut out in the back. If you ever see my scooter laying around somewhere, you'll always see this little grip tape on it. Um, just because I like how I look in it. But this is something pretty cool about it. Let me show you. All right, I'm getting my iPhone light on. I'm gonna get it charged up. All right, watch this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, guys, that concludes the video of me painting my scooter. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been a cool little process, and I'm stoked to have a really dope scooter 
for my whole big trip that's coming up. Here's the flyer right here. And also for Extreme Barcelona, which is gonna be super sick. And also for the Corby camps coming up very soon. Go, in, go into the description and click the link if you guys wanna sign up. They're gonna be super rad and we're gonna have the best scooter camp ever at Corby Skate Park. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, make sure to like it. If you guys aren't subscribed, subscribe. And we'll catch you guys later. Peace out.